estimated time of arrival to a beam of a lighthouse. Practice problem two. ETA to a beam. Practice problem two. Now, let's take down all the givens in the problem. So the problem, you're steering course 163 true. Started, gave us our course. Our course is equal to 163 true. 163 degrees true. And a light is picked up dead ahead at a distance of 11 miles. So our first distance given is equal to 11, na 11 nautical miles. At, and it gives us a time. So we pick that light up at 11 miles at 0142. So the time is 0142. One hour, 42 minutes. You change course to pass the light at two miles off a beam to starboard. Gives us our second distance. It's called as distance A. And this is going to be two miles to starboard. Two nautical miles. And then we'll take a note that it's to starboard. If you're making 13 knots, what's your ETA at the position two miles? So it gave us our speed, didn't it? Speed is equal to 13 knots. What's a knot? It's a nautical mile per hour. We can keep our units straight if we write it out. And then the question here is, what is your ETA at the position two miles off the light? Our ETA, what is that? That's what we're looking for. Okay. First step, we're going to make our triangle. So what's our course? 163. 90, 180 is down. 163 is going to be something like this. And then it says we sight a light. And it gives us a distance to that light. And it's, we're going to keep it to starboard. So if our course is going to be here if we're keeping that to starboard. And then it's going to be a beam, so we know it's 90 degrees. Now, it gave us this distance, 11 nautical miles. 11 nautical miles. It gave us this distance, 2 nautical miles. And then, I like to just say, this is always A and this is C. So, A, B, C. We're looking for B, right? We want to find this distance. So we can get an ETA because we're given a speed too. So now we put this in Pythagorean theorem, which just says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we're looking for B. So if we minus A from this side and we put it over here, we end up with B squared equals C squared minus A squared. Now we can plug and chug. C, what's C? Boom, 11. 11 nautical miles. We, we're just going to leave that off for now. 11 squared minus what's A? 2. 2 squared. So we put this into our calculator. I can do it in my head. This is 11 squared is 121, and 2 squared is 4. It's just 11 times 11 and 2 times 2. That's what the squared is. But let me punch it in the calculator so we can... Um, so you can see the buttons that I hit, right? Okay, there we got the calculator. 11, this X with the two is squared. Squared equals 121. Okay, two squared equals four. So our answer, we have 121 minus four. We put that into our calculator and what do we get? 17, 117, 117, right? 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 117. So B squared is 117. To get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. That square root and this two cancel out. We get B equals 
square root of 117. Let's put that in our calculators and see what b equals. I want to make sure you can see this. Um, so we go second. We hit that second button. And then that same square button right here, it's got that little square root. Square root. And then 117 equals 10.8. 166. So look at it. We got 10.82. It rounds up. 10.8 2 nautical miles. Good. B is equal to 10.82 nautical miles. And we know that's right because it's going to be just a tiny bit shorter than this. This is the hypotenuse right across from the 90 degree. It's going to be the hypotenuse. And this is going to be just a little bit shorter than the hypotenuse. It has to be. So it equals 10.82. And that means we can get, it wants to know the ETA. So we need to get a time and then add it to this time. So we do a, we call them D streets, right? Distance, speed, and time. And we just figured our distance, 10.82, 10.82 nautical miles. Speed, what's our speed? 13 nautical miles per hour. 13 nautical miles per hour. And our time, now we can get our time, right? If we get distance or speed, we can get our time. This little D street chart, D over ST. To get time, it's distance over speed. So distance over speed. What's our distance? It is 10.82 nautical miles. Our speed is 13, 13 nautical miles per hour. What's that equal? Let's punch it in. Good. 10.82 10 divided by 1, 3 equals 0 0.83. 0 0.83. These nautical miles cancel out. You're left with hours. And we can I use some mental math. It's helpful. Because 0.83, it's less than one, right? Yeah, 13 is going to go into 10 less than one times. We know we're on the right track. So this hours needs to change to minutes. And to get from hours to minutes, we just multiply this by 60 minutes over one hour. So that way the hours cancel and you're left with minutes. What does that equal? That equals 0.83 times 60 equals 49.8 minutes. So we round up, right? Anything 0.5 or higher, we round up. So that's 50 minutes. Right? 50 minutes. Now we can add 50 minutes to 142 to get our ETA. So we have 0, 142 plus that 50 minutes. That 50 minutes, that's how long it's going to take us to go from here to a beam based on our calculation here. So 2, 9, one, okay, it's like, what? 192, that doesn't look like a time. You take 60 minutes out, and it's going to add another hour. So take 60 out here, add one here, and 92 minus 60 is 32 minutes, plus one over here, 232 is the ETA. Now let's check our answer. Let's see if we got it. I see 232 is C. Let me double check. Yeah, we are correct. I'm doing this problem with you. 232 is C right there. Awesome. You know, give yourself time. Just keep going through these. We're going to solve five of them. And on to the next one.